it's obvious that amusement parks, carnivals, and county fairs have lots of energy. Mm. There's tasty food and things to see and do. Especially the rides that can send you speeding, spinning, and flipping through the air. You can break all of this energy down into two basic types, potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy, sometimes called stored energy, is the energy contained in an object. There are several forms of potential energy, such as mechanical, chemical, and gravitational. Let's see if you can spot the differences at the amusement park. When you're on a roller coaster and it arrives at the top of a hill, what kind of potential energy does it have? I hate this part. Oh, yes, it has gravitational energy because it's up in the air and ready to move towards Earth using the force of gravity. Now, look at this girl on a bungee ride. What kind of potential energy is she experiencing? Yes, mechanical energy. It's found on the elastic bands attached to her sides after they are stretched out and right before they snap her back up. Now consider some of the food you find at the fair. What type of energy do you think is in it? Yes, chemical energy. When you eat food, your body breaks it down into energy that is used to fuel your cells. Now, what happens when all of this stored energy gets moving? It's called kinetic energy, sometimes called working energy. It occurs when something is moving. Let's head back to the fair to find these forms of energy. Many rides and the lights are powered by electrical energy. They rely on something called a circuit, or a closed loop that allows the electrical energy from a power source to flow into the ride and back to the power source. In order to transport electrical energy, a circuit can't have any gaps. Much like the way water flows in a series of pipes, electrical energy can only flow in a circuit if all the gaps are closed. Knowing how circuits work is very important to amusement park designers, builders, and engineers. They also need to know a lot about how electricity, sound, and light work together to create the best rides possible. When you are on the roller coaster and your friend starts to scream, what type of kinetic energy is this? Yes, it's sound energy, which happens when energy makes air molecules vibrate and then those molecules reach your ears. Now that you know a bit about energy, here's something to remember. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It is constantly switching from potential and kinetic energy and back again. On this drop ride, there is kinetic energy as the motor cranks the gondola through the air. The higher and higher the gondola goes, the more potential energy it gains. When it stops, the gondola has potential energy in the form of gravitational energy. When the gondola drops to the ground at 145 kilometers per hour, the potential energy transforms into kinetic energy as motion. There is also sound energy coming from the gondola and all of its screaming riders as both make noise on the way down. Even though you're probably far away from an amusement park right now, take a look around. Try and name three different types of potential and kinetic energy where you are.